G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. Look at my huge clock mold I'm going to use again today. Now today I'm going to do something a little bit different because we're heading into winter where we're already in winter and it's cold. I want to do something nice and warming, <laughs> warming of the spirit. So I'm going to try um, and do like a beach theme. So the first thing I need to do is I've decided to do white clock hands so i've mixed up some resin it's the platinum 360 plus i've added some white pigment paste and i'm going to put it in a piping bag because it's much easier to pipe my numbers now these numbers are built into the mold as you can see when you unmold it the numbers are there already so that's really great you don't have to add separate numbers, go and buy numbers and add them and stick them on and try and get them to be all in the same line. Right, I did mix up 50 grams of A and 22 grams of B, but I don't think I need all of that. I just go by my little chart. It's in 25 gram increments, so I either did 25 and 11 or I did 50 and 22, so I thought oh, I'd better have a little bit of extra. So that's it in there. Let me just grab a piece of paper towel. So I'll trim the, the bottom off. You don't need to make a very big hole because um, you, know, you just want to go around your, your numbers. So you don't need a, a very big hole because the resin's not thick. You know, like when I'm doing the 3D bloom, I wait for the resin to be thick. So. It's, it's not thick, it just kind of drips out, so don't, um, don't make your hole too big. So what I tend to do is put some in, I try and get my little nozzle to be below the height of the, the mould so it doesn't make a mess. Um, just going to put a little bit in each and let it settle um, and then I'll come back and just sort of top it up and clean up if I've gone over the top anywhere just come back with a, a wet baby wipe and clean it up oops there's a hair I did go around and clean the mold but I must have missed it there got it so yeah um exciting I'm gonna do a beach theme now see this little coaster here up the top there I'm not gonna pick it up because I've probably got resin on my hands um, that's my inspiration for today. Um, I'm not doing any waves. I'm just doing just like a, a still water sort of maybe a river, little creek, I don't know, with pebbles and shallow water and deep water. So not necessarily a beach with sand and waves, but still still a, a water sort of a theme so that's what I'm going to do today I've got some pebbles here they're um, aquarium pebbles that I rinsed last night and let them dry put them in a sieve and poured water through them and um, just put some water in the sink and let them sort of wash through and then I dried them out on a towel and so I'm just going to use those I'm going to put the pebbles down the bottom here where the number six is and have it pretty thick there and then probably to about a third maybe and then they'll start to sort of filter out and get a little bit more sparse and then I'll have clear resin over the pebbles also got some starfish and some shells so I might put some of those in as well um, and then we'll have the you know the clear here and then like a light aqua and then it gets darker and then darker at the top so that's my plan. All right, so as you can see, just going in and filling these up a little bit more. Right up to the top. And I think I'm just going to use alcohol inks because I want it to be transparent. I want to see through. I want to see the, the little pebbles through the, the resin. Um, and then, you know, when you're hanging it up on your wall, you can maybe see your wall colour as well through there. Oops, that might have a little bit much in it, that number eight. I might have to take a bit out. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. 
So I'll wait for this white to set up. It's, um, I don't know if I'll have time this afternoon because it gets dark so quickly now. Actually, I might because I don't have to wait until the white is totally, totally set. Um, it just needs to be sort of touch dry. Although I am putting heavy pebbles on it, so may have to wait. I'd hate for the pebbles to drop down into the white, so yeah, I may have to wait for tomorrow. Actually, just thinking out loud, may have to wait until it's totally set up, and then I can put the pebbles on it. Otherwise, yeah, they might sink, and then that would be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> so yeah, that'll be that'll, that's what I'm going to do. Finish this. Come back tomorrow when it's set up, and. Um, do the next step. So I'm pretty much done here. I'm just going to go and tidy up a little bit. See if anything needs a tiny bit more, but I think they they're all about the same now. Almost. I'm kind of doming. You can see how much room's left. It's a really popular mold, this one. I um, I sell out of it quickly. So there we go. Um, yeah, I'll just clean up my mess and then I'm not going to torch because obviously the torch is going to touch my silicon. But um, I will be back tomorrow and we'll do the next step. I'm very excited about this one. Righto, I'm back. <laughs> I always think it's funny when people say they're back. Obviously you're back. Right. Um, I've mixed up my resin. I've got, I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. Um, I don't know how much of this, these stones I'm going to need. I'm just going to pop them out. Oh, you're a very big piece. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, look, I'm not going to put shells and starfish and things like that in because, like I said, I want it to be more of a, a river kind of a look. Um, I made up, not up a lot of resin. It's a big mould. 525 grams of A, 225 grams of B. So I've got 750 grams, which is about three cups of resin. So I want, it to, the, I want the stones to be quite dense, like quite densely thick down here. And then more of just like a little sprinkle as we get further up, something like that, okay? Something like that. Do it however you like. But um, yeah, I want the bottom half to be a bit more dense. I've got some stones left. Um, so yeah, does it look like a sort of a, a rocky creek bed? <laughs> Hope so. Um, it's a nice deep mold, so you can get away with you know relatively decent sized stones. And if you wanted to put shells and things in, you certainly could. Right uh, now, I've got I divided my resin up. This one's three quarters full. That's about. Oops, mix. That's for my clear, and then I've got about so that's about three quarters. So it's about two thirds, half, and about a third. So that's what I've done. Hopefully. Hopefully it's enough. Hopefully. <laughs> oh gosh. I just want to make sure that my blue doesn't like go over my my stones down here. I don't mind if they go down up over there, but down here I want to make sure that I've got just clear. So I'll pour this out and make sure I've got enough before I go adding my colour to my other cups. This is fun. I always like doing fun projects. Something new to me. It may not be new to others, but new to me. So because my pebbles are deeper down here, I'm needing more resin to cover them. But you can, you know, later on you can sort of push them down and play with them. You don't want anything sticking over the top. This is not going to fill the mould right up to the top though. It's only going to fill it probably halfway. You can always come back and do another another layer later on if you want to. I just didn't want to put too much, make up too much resin and at like a flash cure because you always have to worry that you're, well, I worry that my resin's going to flash cure. So I don't tend to make up too, too much. I'd rather do it in 
in layers like just put another clear layer on later on if I need to all right so that's it's pretty much all my clear gone um, there's any left. that's my big jug that I mixed it in <laughs> Take, uh, no, it should be, it should be fine. I've got, there's a little bit of dry stones just there. I think I probably will have to come in with a, a clear coat. I just pinch a little bit of clear out of all of these because I'm not sure exactly how much color I'm going to want. Now if I've got too much color then um, I'd rather have more clear. All right so that's about a, th a quarter, a third and a half. Quarter, third, half. Right now the fun bit, well it's all fun but now I'm going to mix up my colors. So for the pale I'm going to use this one called Sky. It's going to go in this one. I'll just do three drops. See how that looks. I don't want it to be too dark. My resin's warming up already. I can feel it warming up. So this will go sort of in the middle there and a little bit over that. So that's that's I think that's perfect. Now the next one, I've got um, cerulean and azure. I'm not exactly sure which one I want to use. I want to see what they look like. Two drops of cerulean. So that's more of a teal, that one. Looks like that. So let's do, this is the azure. I haven't got much left of it. Three, four, five. I keep saying and I wish Let's Resin will let us buy like individual colours rather than have to buy the whole kit. Whole kit and caboodle and then you only use a few of your, of your favourite colours and then you run out of those and you've got to buy a whole new kit again just to get those few colours back. I wish they'd just let us buy the colours that we wanted to like the, the favourites like you know you know the ones that you always use. All right, let's resin. Come to the party and let us buy those. All right, now that's that. Now the darkest one, I've got Midnight Blue and Sapphire. So let's put a little bit of the Midnight in and see what it's going to look like. Three drops of Midnight. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I think that'll be a nice colour. Put another couple of drops of the Midnight in. Uh, there we go. So that's five. It's nearly empty. That's why it's not wanting to come out. Another nearly empty bottle. Okay. Make sure you mix it really well because you don't want to have streaks. The colours will kind of blend anyway, but I don't want I don't want streaks. I might add more pebbles as well. We'll see what happens. Add a few more little pebbles. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Ooh, let's do this. What's that going to look like? The darkest one. Hmm. I'll be able to go another drop, hey? Another. Let's go another two drops if I can get anything out. Oops, there was a tiny little squirt. You can test it in there, you know, if you want to. Because once you've added your your whole cup, it's it's a bit hard to then go back and change, uh, make it darker. So make sure you've got your shading the way you want it. That'll be a nice. All right, let's pour that in. Pour it all in. Here's our, our dark water. Deep water. 
See that bit there? That was stuck to the side of the cup. So <laughs> that's what I was saying, you've got to mix it really well. Otherwise you get these little streaks. But because I scraped the side of the cup, that bit wasn't mixed all that well. All right, so that's that one. Oh gosh, here comes a courier truck down the driveway. That the dogs aren't going to bark at it. I might have to take my glove off just in case. And I can quickly put you on pause because they'll hear the truck and then they'll bark. I'll be careful though. Right, so the next one is going to be the lighter blue. Like so. I haven't got much of that one, have I? I thought I had more. So if you want to, you know, do a second coat, um, you don't have like to, to make your mould a bit deeper. Um, you don't have to just do clear. If you want to have more of one particular colour, you can just mix it up and then when you put your next layer on, you can just add a bit more colour then, you know. You don't have to just do a clear. Right, so that's that one. And then this one, this is our lightest. Are they going to bark? Are they going to be noisy? Oh, no, he's just dropped it off oh, and he's gone. I can see who's coming down the driveway. Uh, all right, now this one, I'll just pour it in between here. Like so. A little bit down here. Oops. Oh, how's it looking, you guys? Is it looking pretty? Oh, hope so. All right, so that's that one done. Now I've still got this bit of clear in here that I haven't used yet. Um, mum, mum, mum. What will I do with it? What will I do with it? Let's put my glove back on now. I didn't have to end up pushing the pause button after all. So push some of these stones in because they're poking up through the top. It's going to be careful I don't like blend too much. I don't want to like introduce a darker colour into here. Oops. Just on that there. Was that on that stick maybe? Made it, might have been. All right, let's have a look at it. Now, I'm not going to go like blending through and everything. I just want to leave it. The colours will move anyway. Um, I think I'll mix up a little bit more of this sky. So what you can do is, two, three, four, five. What you can do is you can use your little cup of clear and you can put one colour in. Hey, what are you guys fighting about? You can put one colour in um, and then don't pour all of it out. Pour some of it out. Let's shut that door. And then you can pour a darker colour in on top. Hey, stop fighting. Do you know what I mean? Like you can, I'll pour some of this in. Um, and then you can add another colour to it and make it darker. So you don't have to, you know, divide it up too, too much. Um, so yeah, it's like clear's gone up here, which I didn't really want the clear to go up there. So put a bit of that there. And I've got a little bit left, so I'm going to add and put it through the centre there. What was the other one that I just used? Was it azure? Oh gosh. Was it cerulean? Mm -hmm. I can't remember now. Oh, it was this one, because this one's nearly empty, isn't it? I think it's empty. Come on. You can do it. A little bit more. Oh, it's empty now. I need another one of those ones. I'll put a drop of sapphire in it. But yeah, you can mix up your colours to just, you know, until you get whatever shade you want, whatever you're happy with. Oh gosh, that's a bit dark now. Oh my gosh. I want it quite that dark look. Okay. Don't think I'm going to use that. It's gone too dark. That's all right. I just wanted to put a little bit of that lighter, not too, not too light, but a little bit of the darker through there. But that's fine. I'm not, I'm not going to use it. All right. Now let me get my gloves off, and I'm going to give this a quick 
little torch. Quick, quick, quick. So I can see bubbles. You can see that rim of bubbles there accumulating. I'll just give that a quick little torch. Don't torch too much. I guess there's lots of bubbles like trapped under the stones. <laughs> Maybe. Because there seems to be a lot of bubbles coming up to the surface. It must be trapped under the stones. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I am going to have to come back and do a, another coat because I can still see pebbles and things poking through. So, um, depending on what the colours do and how they blend, when I mix up my next lot of resin, I'll do clear here. Um, I'll do a little bit more of the pale aqua. I'll do a little bit more of the darker blue and I'll probably just leave that one as is. So there we go. All right, just so that I can get a little bit more of my shading. But because the resin's still moving, like this blue, as you can see, it's starting to pull down. So I'll see what it looks like um, before I go and make any decisions. But that's looking really good so far. Just need a little bit darker in the centre there. So... I will see you in a few hours and uh, we'll do the next layer. So this layer is touch dry now and I've made up some more resin. I made up another cup, one cup, 250 grams. It was 175 grams of A and 75 grams of B. And while I was standing here stirring mixing, I'm thinking, like I knew this was going to be the back of the clock because the other side's the front. So you can see the depth here with the stones at the bottom, whereas when we turn it over, the stones are going to be on the top. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh, you silly woman, you've done it backwards. You should have put down the colour first, the blue, the dark blue, the light blue, and then the clear, and then waited for that to set, and then put the stones on, and then more colour. Do you know what I mean? So that you get that depth looking down into the stones. But anyway, it's done now. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm a duffer. Now I'm going to make up some more of the dark blue. I'm going to use the midnight. Yeah, so that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Oh, this is nearly finished as well. And I'm going to put a little tiny bit of cerulean in it just to make it kind of a dark aqua, like so. Yeah, so I'm a bit disappointed in myself, but see, I didn't even know if I was going to do two layers at that stage. I thought, you know, maybe I'll just do it all in one layer, but then my stones are sort of sticking up. So I thought, okay, I'm going to need a second layer. But then I thought, yeah, I should have done, done that backwards. Never mind. Just means I get to do another one, hey? Don't expect me to do it perfect first time round, like seriously. <laughs> oh dear, I'm just going to see if I can put a little bit more teal in that, a little bit more aqua rather than so blue blue. But um, hopefully the depth, you'll get like a depth of colour with layering the different colours. But yeah, the um, the stones I don't think aren't going to aren't going to look very realistic. So that's the dark one, and then the light blue, the sky. It's going to be a squirt of that one. Oh gosh, <gasps> everything's sticky. Problem with resin, isn't it? Everything's sticky. Let me just clean this off now before it dries. All right, I'll come back to that. Um, I need another stir stick. All right, so this one. This is the sky. But um, yeah, it looks, looks very sort of teal once it's mixed. So I might put a little bit of that down and then add a bit more color to it just to make it a bit darker. So that's that, I've got my clear here. Let's start, let's start with the darkest one, I guess. And again, just sort of layer it like that. Oh, 
can't really see what it's looking like because it's on top of the other one. Push that to the edges. Off you go, off they go to the edges. It kind of went to the edges on its own before, but I only put a little bit on, so it's going to help it there along. Okay. That's that one. So I sort of wanted a little bit more of that darker blue to sort of creep down a bit. Now, this lighter one, just going to pop it sort of around here-ish. Keep that because I might want to add some more. I'm going to add the clear down here like so. I just didn't think I had enough colour. It seemed a little bit too too clear, too, too transparent looking. I'm going to push this to the edges, this clear, because I had clear sort of up almost halfway where I was thinking I should have clear a third, then light a third, and then sort of dark a third-ish. Oh my gosh, my glove's going in it. So I'll just push this clear off to the edges, and hopefully that'll cover all my little pebbles. I had a few little pebbles poking their little heads up through. But um, it, it wasn't, they weren't sticking up a lot, so I didn't think I needed a lot of resin. Just this cup full. I'll just blend those two together. Take that up to the edge. Also, there's a few little bubbles, like I said you know, earlier, that they got sort of stuck under the, the pebbles. Um, it's probably another reason why I should just put down resin first, pop the bubbles and then put the stones on. That way the bubbles aren't going to be as noticeable, if you know what I mean. So I've got that left over. Um, let's put a little bit of... Now this is where I put too much last time. One drop of the sapphire. Oh gosh, look how strong that is. Gosh, it's very strong, the sapphire. See what that looks like there. No, <laughs> nope. Why, why? I've got a little bit of clear left. I'm going to put a tiny bit of this sapphire in there. And then, where's my sky? That's sapphire. Gosh, it's very very um, dominant. Okay, there we go. I probably won't have enough now, but how's that looking? I'll pop a little bit more in. Very dominant, that colour. Alright, so that looks like a pretty colour, so I'm just going to pop that through there, like that. And then sort of blend these two together, like so. Got a little bit more of this one. Scrape it out. And then, well, I do have a bit more of that left over. Just thought it might be too dark. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might have enough to spread these two to meet up. Blend those two, go around the little nib. You've got a built-in little nib there for the clock mechanism, which is good. You don't have to be drilling holes. I personally don't want to be drilling holes in my resin. Some people don't mind it, but I, <laughs> and I'll try and avoid it if possible. Okay, how's that? Now, a tiny bit of this blue. Let's put a bit there and blend it. It's not as dark as the other blue at the top there, but let's just sort of blend these two. See how that looks, eh? 
Oh, that looks okay, you guys. I thought I'd ruined it there, but I think I've saved it. It's, it's harder than it looks, these ocean themes. Okay, I think I can get away with a little bit more of this now, once we use it all. There we go. There we go. It'll be all right. I didn't. I didn't stuff it up after all. I thought I did, but I didn't. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Let's do a little bit more blending. You don't have to go straight across if you don't want to. You can sort of make a bit of a, a swishy line, you know, with your colours. It doesn't have to be exactly straight when you come to blending. I don't want to go any further into that deep, dark water there. Oh, that looks so good, you guys. <gasps> wow. You almost forget that it's a clock that's got numbers on the other side, hey? <laughs> Scrape out whatever I can left. I don't want to waste anything. This one, so I've got a tiny little bit more as well. Not much. A few drops. <laughs> it all helps. <laughs> all right, there we go. Now, um, yeah, I don't want to blend it anymore. I like, I love that. I love that much better now. Very happy with that. So nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just a shame I'm not going to get that sensation of being 3d on the other side see a little pebble sticking through the bottom layer is still soft enough that i can kind of poke the stones down a little bit if i have to but look this is going to be the back so it's not really going to matter too too much although if you really love this side you could forego the numbers on the other side and just um, have this as the top. There's a big pebble there. Can't push him down. That's all right. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm loving it. Why can't this be the, the front? All right, let me clean up my mess. Um, and I'm going to oh, bring you down. Oh, I spilled some. Look at that. There's a little bit. Must have been a little bit in my cup and my cup had fallen over. Fourth over. Look at that, there's a bit of clear in it. I didn't know that. Did you know I had a little bit of clear left? I didn't know that. There we go. I'll cover up those little pebbles that are sticking out. I just noticed that it had fallen over and there was resin running out of it. A little, just a tiny bit. And I thought, oh, I'll have that. Didn't realise that I had any left. Okay. Um, I'll clean up my sticks later. Let me just do one final little torch because I've added that extra bit of resin now. And bring you down for a, a close up. I'll clean off my hands. All right, let's go in and have a little look. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. But can you see what I mean about the stones having that sort of 3D look like you can see them here they're right at the surface you can see they're at the surface and then it's getting deeper and deeper and the stones are getting a little bit more difficult to see in the deeper water right up to the the depths there and then around here you know they get it gets shallower and shallower and again you can see your stones a little bit better as you come up into the shallow waters but yeah I'm not going to get that on the other side But hey, what I could do, you know, what I, what I could do, if I really prefer this side, <laughs> I can forego the numbers on the other side and just, I don't know, turn it into a tray. Or, no, I can't because it's got a hole in the middle. Um, put new clock numbers on the top. Oh, I don't know. Or just do it again and learn from this, my mistakes and do it properly the next time. But anyway, there we go. Live and learn. All right, I will see you tomorrow and we will unmold it. And, um, yep, put the, um, the clock dial on. So, see you then. 
the time has come. It's all set. Oh, I'm just kicking myself I did it backwards. But anyway, live and learn, hey. I don't think about these things until after I've done them. All right, let's get it out. Now, watch this one over here. You just pop that like that and see the number has stuck to the actual resin, which is what you want. I'm just going to go around all the way and loosen those numbers. And because I haven't filled it all the way to the edge, there's a little, little lip there which isn't going to matter at all because it's the back. <laughs> oh, I'm a duffer. All right, let's just pop that out. There we go. It comes out nice and easily. Nice, clean mould. All right, let's pop that down. Let's put that behind me there. All right, are we ready? <laughs> I've got my little uh, clock mechanism all set over here, ready to put on. Are you ready? Do you want to see it? <laughs> I do too. All right, let's flip her over and have a look. Ta-da! Oh, look at that! That's not as bad as I was expecting, actually. <laughs> oh, no, that's really good. Haven't got quite that depth, um, you know, that you've got on that side. But you can certainly see the stones better. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. No, that's not as bad as I was thinking. All right. Thank goodness for that. Right. So um, now I do have these little clock mechanisms in my eBay store. It comes in a little box like that. Um, I don't have any white left, but you can easily spray paint them whatever colour you want. Just put them on a bit of card, take it outside, spray it. I've got lots of different colours of spray paint. I, I can do um, gold and black and white and silver. And Anyway, it comes with that, comes with that. Put that on there like so. Put that under there. And um, I did get these to fit my big clocks because it's got a, a longer shaft. Um, now, I may have to go and get, and then there's a little um, ring. I don't know what that thing's called. It's not a washer. That's, that's the little ring, and then this is the washer. And I'm actually going to have to go and get my little pair of pliers. Actually, maybe I can hold it. I've got to hold the back so that <laughs> you can see through it. You can hold the back there so that um, it doesn't spin, and then you have to sort of tighten that washer. But... I can't really tighten it as well with my finger, so I'll probably have to go and get a, a little tool to do that. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do it like that. And then there's the shorthand next. That goes on. Give that a bit of a, a push until it goes click. Don't push down too far. And then we've got the next one that goes on top. The little hole is smaller on this one. So just push that on until it goes click. Oops. A bit tricky to do it. Oops. Maybe I need to hold it. <laughs> That's a bit tricky to do these things. Oh, there we go. Click. I bent my hand. <laughs> Easy enough to um, straighten. Right, and then over the top is this little other piece that just... Maybe I've pushed that one in too far. No, it doesn't matter. I'll fix it later. And then that just goes over the top like that. Da da! Look at that! I have to fix this one. I've pushed it down a little bit too far. Oops. <laughs> I'll fix him later. There we go. Look at that! What do you think? Woohoo! <laughs> All right. So I know you can see the little mechanism behind there, but it's just it's part of it, isn't it? If you're going to do a transparent background, I guess if you didn't want to see that sort of silhouette behind, you could just put more pebbles there and you know, a little bit sort of thicker pebbles there and then sort of spread them out. But that doesn't bother me at all. I mean, you can see it like that looking up against you know the light behind it but when it's on a wall I don't think you're going to notice it alrighty um, I'm going to put it 
I'll find somewhere to stand it up so that I can take a photo of it for you. But yeah, let me know what you think of it, you guys. Oh my gosh, I was so worried that it wasn't going to work out. But it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> what do you reckon? can't really see the turquoise or the aqua through the screen. It, it always looks a little bit um, blue, but when I take the photo, hopefully you'll be able to see um, that it's more aqua. All right, <laughs> there you go. Oh, definitely going to do it again, but I'll do it backwards. But look, I'm happy with it. It's it's much better than I was expecting it to be, <laughs> considering I did it wrong. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Love you all. Take care, and I will see you all real soon for the next video. Okay. Come down here so that you can see the hopefully you can see the see the numbers how they they stand out at the top there. Reflections everywhere. All right, gotta go. See you again for the next video. Bye for now.